Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my supercar life. On today's vlog, we're going to be talking about Chris Evans quitting Top Gear and also a new present from Ferrari. So it's just been announced that Chris Evans has quit Top Gear as the presenter, which is probably one of the most least surprising things in the history of television at the moment. It's not come as a massive surprise. He's received a lot of criticism for both the way he's been presenting, how he's appearing on the show, and how the ratings have been affected by what's been done in the new series. I don't think he's fully to blame. I think a lot of people with Chris Evans, he's a bit of a Marmite presenter. You either love him or hate him. And I think a lot more people do really, really hate him. So I don't really think it's his own fault, but I don't think it helps by the way that he's been on camera. So, you know, it's just one of those things. So hopefully now in season two of the new series, it should move forward and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of Rory and Chris Harris presenting and maybe a little bit less of Eddie Jordan and I'm not really sure that Sabine brings much to the plate. She's a good driver, don't get me wrong, but I don't know that she's really suited to Top Gear. The thing is, I've been watching Top Gear since I was really young. I used to watch it with my dad and I've watched it pretty much every season that it's been on. So, you know, I've seen a lot of the changes from back in the day, probably before a lot of people were born. And um, so I've been watching it for that long that we've seen the comes and goes, the highs and the lows. And we've seen it go from a factual program to more of an entertainment program, which is good. Sometimes some of the, um, on the last series with, uh, Clarks and Hammond and May. Some of the adventures did get a little bit monotonous, but that's just television for you. you've got to give people what they want, and I think that's what they were trying to do. But I do think with the new series, it's not really worked with Chris Evans as a presenter. He's just not gelled with the public, and the public know what they like, and they did like the original format. So I think by bringing in people that may or may not be liked wasn't exactly the best idea. But I do think people such as Rory and Chris Harris presenting the programme would bring it on a lot more for the newer season. If they were the main presenters of the programme, I do think a lot more people would gel with it because both of them do know what they're talking about with cars. Both of them can present in a nice style and I just think that's a better way forward for it. Matt LeBlanc doesn't really um, offend me in a way. I didn't like him on the first episode, but I think as the series has gone on, he seems to have sort of become a bit better presenter. Maybe he's not done much presenting work before, and he's getting into his own with it now, and seems to be getting a lot more comfortable with the presenting on there, and he's not too bad a character. In other news, um, we've just passed our 100 subscribers on YouTube, so thanks for that. And um, I've had a new thing in the post, which I've opened but not looked at, which came a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, but I've not yet opened it because I wanted to wait and make a vlog about it, but I've not really had much time to vlog because I've been busy with other projects. So what did we get? We got this, which is the official Ferrari magazine. Sorry about this, it's not focusing. There we go. So what this is, is the new and latest issue of the for official Ferrari magazine, which is sent out to owners. I had the Ferrari yearbook at the end or beginning of this year, end of last year, beginning of this year, I can't remember what. So this is the latest issue that we've had from Ferrari, which is fantastic. It has a price of 50 euros on the front. So it's not exactly the cheapest. Um, we've got uh, a new name for the magazine because it was originally known as... 
not quite sure what it was known as before, but now it's the official Ferrari magazine, so it is as it says on the tin. And I think it looks to be stunning. What I'll do is I'll bring you over now and just go for a quick flick through and we can see what's in there. Okay, so this is my first look, your first look, everybody's first look through the official Ferrari magazine, um, which was sent to me by Ferrari as a Ferrari owner. But if you ever wondered what's inside these things, maybe you've seen them for sale on eBay, because there does tend to be a lot that pop up on there, just thought we'd have a quick look through together. So, nice picture on the front there of the new GT4C Lusso. And let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got a fold out for Ralph Lauren advertising and more advertising. The new Alpha 4C Spider, very nice. More adverts and then we get into the main thing. So uh, we get an introduction and adverts again, tag here, uh, an introduction. And there we go, get um, a lot of beautiful photography in these types of magazines as well as adverts for high-end sort of lifestyle and product. A uh, nice little advert there for the um, Ferrari Museum in Medina which you can visit and if you are an owner you can do the factory tour I believe which I want to do next year. And again even more lovely photos um, here we've got the FXXK which is of course Ferrari's own race series adverts for executive jets more stunning again for photography GT4C Lusso looking gorgeous the type of Ferrari that would suit me because um, there is me uh, my wife and my son and we go everywhere together and with our ferrari being a two-seat ferrari it's a little bit of a pain but the four-seat ferraris are very attractive to us we're just um we're just waiting and seeing at the moment again covering more of the classic ferraris and uh we get out uh interviews sorry some more stunning photography it's it's one of the key points of these magazines they are really beautiful and uh, you've got there the uh, the Hublot watch which has got an absolutely amazing mechanism to it um, the F1 Grand Prix of Europe in Azerbaijan which was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be uh, again you know Absolutely lovely. More photographs of the LaFerrari, more high end product. You know, it's what it's all about. It's the lifestyle as well as the cars. It's uh, a very nice insight into the luxury life that uh, some people lead. I don't particularly. Um, it would be nice but such as explaining the Rosso, how it's been used in um, a lot of Ferraris, obviously, and uh, a lot of other Italian products. More great photography, um, which is obviously, uh, photography is another one of my things that I do love. So to see these pictures in these sorts of magazines, uh, it just makes it worthwhile for me, makes it even better. It's like flicking through a piece of art rather than just flicking through a magazine. But it gives you an idea of what's inside these sorts of things because it's uh, it's not something that you can go to WH Smith's and buy. It's slightly different. <laughs> there we have an F40 built from Lego, which... To be fair, I'd be happy with an F40 built from Lego, never mind a real F40. <laughs> it is one of my 
favourite all time Ferraris. Um, and again, you get some of the meetups and the happenings and the events that Ferrari owners put on throughout the world. They're all featured again in this section of the magazine, which is really nice to see uh, some of the get togethers throughout the world. Not a lot happens in the UK. There is a Ferrari event in um, at Silverstone in September, which you can visit. Um, I will be there, and I know a lot of other Ferrari owners will be there. It's on a Friday and a Saturday. I'll try and put the exact dates on here for you, just so you can see. And it's about £10 a ticket, which is great for adults and kids. So if you want to visit that, please do. I'll be there probably wandering round and it won't be the first time I'll be at Silverstone next year but we'll be leaving that for another maybe another week so I hope you've enjoyed that little flick through the magazine there so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up if there's anything you want to see leave it in the comments below and subscribe to be notified when I upload any new content see you soon